I don't know what happened, guys. Spencer Dinwiddie signed with the Lakers, but the reason I say I don't know what happened was many of you commented, I made five videos today and they were all muted. I don't know what happened, guys, with my microphone. So embarrassing. But here we are. Spencer Dinwiddie, he chose the Lakers. He's a hometown kid. He, you know, dreamed of playing with Kobe Bryant. So I thought this was a good signing. I will admit, I thought he was going to go to Dallas, but I think the reason he chose Los Angeles, A, hometown kid, B, I think he realized the, the path to playing time was way more clear as the, the Mavericks do would have needed him and he would have been a good fit. But the Mavericks are a team that need defense. And Spencer Dinwiddie, I mean, he played really good defense for them and he knows the system and it would have been a good fit for him. But the role they would have had him is different than the role here. He's now joined D'Angelo Russell and Austin Reeves as part of that backcourt. And basically, you need to be playing the role that they had hoped Gabe Vincent was going to play. And that's the crazy... The thing is, is Spencer Dinwiddie is 6'6", and we've seen Austin Reeves occasionally play the, the three, and I think Spencer Dinwiddie... They'll do some lineups where LeBron and AD will be at the power forward and center position with D'Angelo at point. I think Reeves at shooting guard and Spencer Dinwiddie because he's 6'6", with a 6'9", wingspan. I want to think it's like 6'8 and a half. At the at the three they can do, but then Spencer Dinwiddie is a guy who's a good, you know, he's a clutch player. He can get hot. He can score from all three levels. Can he get streaky and be volatile? Yes. But the role that he played with Dallas during that Western Conference Finals run, playing like twenty three minutes a night, dude. I obviously he shot fifty percent from the field and forty one percent from three on like sixteen points a game during that. Like he was absurd. I don't know if that will like he could reach heights like that, but I do believe that he can be a guy that can come out. And really give them a, a a boost that they need. So for me, the biggest thing I see right here is, yes, I think this could be a good situation for our man, Mr. Spencer Dinwiddie. So, yeah, I want to hear your guys' opinions in the comment section. What do you guys think of Spencer? Do you think this was a good signing? If you guys agree with me, I, I do think this could be a great fit in terms of... Even if he doesn't stay long term where like he rebuilds his value, he could be a guy that could could rebuild his value and go into free agency and sign somewhere else or go to the cross rivals, you know. But I think this is a good situation for all pe everyone involved. All right. I think you're it's a low risk for the Lakers because they get a guy who wants to be there, not just like not just because he's, you know, obviously from LA, but that's the big part, but I think he's a guy who wants to win and be a part of something huge. So for me, I, I really like this move. I think they're you. It was a good deal for the Lakers, all in all. But yeah, let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. Sorry for the fuck up. Go.